first made contact with the enemy on the afternoon of 26th of February. Uh, we received heavy machine gun fire from a village. I ordered the two tank platoons to come online abreast of my tank, and we fired a volley of high explosive gun tank rounds. When the tank rounds impacted into the village, large holes, almost the size of the entire wall itself of the center block building, were blown into the buildings. My role in the, in the creation of this battle began in the desert, and I was met in the desert by a research team. They came to us not months after, but hours after the, uh, the action actually took place, so it's fresh in our mind. We walked the, uh, and drove the path of, uh, of Eagle's assault from the beginning when we first fired onto the village until our consolidation point. The interesting thing about what happened in the G Troops area is that I had three separate battles going at, at the same time. I troop hit a, a dug-in force oriented roughly in our direction, uh, tanks and personnel carriers. The first uh, volleys of fire were fired by the scouts who were out front. And, and right now, toll launchers came up across the board as soon as that thing went up and that thing burned. That was that was one of those infamous volcano okay, deals. Okay. We can change the weather. We can change the Iraqi tactics. We can give them weapons they didn't have. We can give ourselves future weapons that we would like to have. There was no time to feel any emotion. There was no time to to uh, to feel any fear. I found myself as I watched this battle. Just I could feel the adrenaline flowing. I was, <laughs> I could feel my, my palms start to sweat. I was uh, surprised and delighted to, to hear comments from several of the participants in the battle. That's exactly what it was like. If you sit behind a tank night sight and you look out of the thermals, it's just like looking out of a tank. It can take and test ideas against a set measure so we can measure the delta. An no, officer says, I can do better than that. I say, step up, son, do better than that. It's group training at the combat level that we never had before. We can test future ideas, concepts, tactics, doctrine, and vehicles, because we now have a benchmark that's rooted in ground truth. So we're looking at a possibility that can really change our understanding of war. But it also is making me feel good that we weren't forgotten. Uh, I wish I could bring my whole platoon in here and show them, say, here, sit here, watch this, because this is what we've done. 